podcasters. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the finals of the EGL and Europa Halo 2v2 Spring Series. I'm Joe Sketch here, joined by Alex Knighty. And Knighty, we've been following Cat Fox so far in this competition. We are through now to the winners' finals, and they're coming up against no other than Cartel 2s. I mean, we expected Cartel 2s to get here, but now it's all I'm going to be uh, I'm looking at Marine here. For him saying, yeah, we can beat Legend and Shady, can they actually do it? Do you actually think they can actually hold a fight against this, this team? Well, I, as I've said previous, I don't. But <laughs> I think Marine and Mister are making a pretty damn good case for themselves right now. They have already gone through the second seed, the grand finalists from last tournament. That's that's it. I mean, they can't really get as high as that. That was we. That's what we said. Is like it's a race for second, and they've gotten as high as you can possibly go up till this point they still have to you know if they lose this series they still have to get through the losers bracket they still have to win the losers finals to really really prove me wrong but uh yeah they've they've had they have a mic drop at the moment like they're like yeah what about that what about that we're, we're mm -hmm. here and and we're taking it on this is this is the final boss though this is legend and shady it's going to be a totally different match yeah, and what we've seen so far, Legend and Shader. I say this every time I'm on stream. Legend is he's on like an 100 plus series win uh, in, at this point in Halo Five in both 4v4s and 2v2s. He, him and Shady just somehow add an extra set of speed to the game, which I don't see from any other team. Which in this whole circuit on the EU side as well, and I just can't, I still can't work out how they do it. Legend already getting the kill. Shady's already pushing the Mister. I mean, we're going to have Camo on the board potentially as well. It's in Legend's hands as well. And this is exactly, it's almost like it's, you know, you're, like, you're playing in, um, on easy mode. And I'm not saying that as a disrespect to Marine and Mister. It's just how good Legend and Shady are. I mean, Legend's just shot about four or five shots, six shots. He's got two kills as well. I, 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 cannot, I cannot stress how good Mister and Marine have been playing. But Legend and Shady just, oh, just uh, they're not even another level. They're another 16 levels above. Yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of the Avengers oh, Infinity oh, oh. War when Thanos comes out of the portal onto Earth and he's, he's got the Infinity Gauntlet with all of the stones or, or most of the oh, stones and, he, and he's just he's just ready to beat up on the Avengers, right? Like he just oh. walks straight through every single one of them, walks through all of them. That's what we're seeing from Shady and Legend. They have the gauntlet and they are just going to town. Oh my days. Shady, do you miss, son? There it is. Misty gets a first kill on the board for, <laughs> for Catbox. But Shady answers back straight away 10 to 1 in our winners' finals. This is our winners' finals here. This is the top two teams so far in the bracket. And we've we followed Mr. Marine so far. They play some absolutely top notch Halo. And they're just getting absolutely slaughtered here. They have just been put. Uh, into an unwinnable fight, almost it looks. Marine does get a kill as well, so that's no longer Gooses in the play, which is always a good thing to start off with. That's what you aim for. Uh, Shady ducked and Mister somehow didn't any shoot any shots at him. Uh, I don't know what's going on, Nighty. It just seems to happen every time we see Shady and Legend play. Bed just glued on. It's magnetic. It's the cartel effect, as Billy says. All of a sudden, Cat Fox went from looking like champ ones to like gold ones, like they. They don't look like they are able to put up a fight at all in this game. They've really got to regain for map number two because this one is already over. We've got a camo about to be up. Shady and Legend are going to be running around, making sure to just bait it out. They don't, don't want to play for it just yet. That's a, an acceptable burn. They don't need to let him get away, though. He's just going to mm -hmm. slip out from their fingers. That's a massive play from Cat Fox. Shady still thinks he's down there. Uh, and Mist is going to walk away with a kill. All right, so that's that's pretty good. Very good job out of out of Cat Fox right there, getting away with that camo, going to secure the sniper, and now they're going to look for some spawns, but they're just not quick enough. Honestly, they weren't on top of the spawns fast enough. They've got to be putting some hot lead immediately into the air as soon as Cartel are coming up. Yeah, and I mean, at, at, um, at nil-nil, the first camo, that would have been a great, great play, and it was 
but you're 14 to 2 down at that point. And I mean, you need to make plays like that every single time you spawn up. You need to make these absolutely incredible clutch plays to even stand a chance in this one. We still see Marine with the sniper. He does use that bullet to good effect. Snipe beat down um, onto, onto Legend earlier on. He gets a nice no scope there. Oh, the shady. Okay, all right, Marine. Nice shots, but no cleanup so far on those kills. So it's a bit of a sniper highlight reel, but with no kills so far. He just gonna he hits all four shots, but only gets one kill with that sniper rifle, and that's just the cartel effect coming up and forward. Marine, you are gonna get pushed down here by both Shady and Legend. They're gonna come flying at you. They're gonna clean you up. And I mean, again, we need to look at some stats here from Legend, and we're gonna get him on board right now. We'll see a lot of 100% here in Nighty across the board because they have not lost a map so far. Not losing a map, though. That's <laughs> <laughs> good lord. Uh, that's uh, some pretty good statistics coming out of them, especially the 2200 damage uh, from Legend. Marine here doing his best, making sure to stay aggressive. That's something that I like to see, making sure to always keep the pressure on the other team, uh, even when you're playing against the final boss. Mista going to come in here with a good assist, and this camo is going to be big. The other camo helped them out a lot, so they want to get this one and stay alive with it as well. They're ready for it, but they're not putting any priority on slaying out. That seems to be exactly what happened last time, but Mista was not able to get away with that camo uh, again. That was just, you know, one of the things that really helped him out was Mista being so sneaky, but they are learning from it. Legend and Shady, they're going to adapt to you. Marine going to shut that one down, but that was going to be a trade. Only four kills to go in this one. Just look, making it look too easy. Yeah, I do like that Marina and Mister are still playing their game as well, still trying to be aggressive towards this Cartel 2 squad. Uh, and I think that's really, really good play. I think that's what you need to do to learn from this team as well. Legend and Shady, the best players, they are effectively the best practice you can get in Europe. The more you play against players like this, the better you are going to be as a team, especially if you take the fights to them. Try and challenge them. Try and use the aggression that they use against them as well. So some nice trades across the board, some nice nades, knowing that Legend and Shady and push these and i think there's been some respectable ki respectable kills definitely from the side um the side of um uh cat fox here but i mean at a 10 to nil start or 12 to 2 start and shady hitting headshots again with a sniper rifle i mean there's only so much you can do you can win these individual scraps but when you've got a sniper rifle and camera on the side of a french lot cartel 2 is going to win we do just that 25 to 14 in our game one of the winners finals well pretty much what we had expected especially with a 100 percent win rate on the maps uh this is just too good of a team, honestly. Cartel being the just the strongest duo we've seen in a long, long time over in the EU. Uh, I, can't, I can't even think back. You know, the in the Halo Three days, we saw Reaction and MVP on Power. They were just amazing. I wouldn't really call them a duo, but that half of Power was just so strong on that side. I got to play against them at MLG. And uh, they were just a tremendous force to, to be reckoned with. So we haven't really seen anybody like that since, honestly. And, that, and now with Legend and Shady being this darn good, I cannot wait to see what they can do against the best of the best. Like, I just want them to go against Bound and Renegade, like, right away. But I, I know the servers would be too much in the favor of one or the other side. So it's not a it's not a reasonable thing to do for either of them. But one day we're gonna see that matchup on land. I know it's gonna happen, and I, I cannot wait for it. And it's almost this whole um, situation with no land is a build up as well. It almost brings so much anticipation to sure. that game as well. And and I mean, when it happens, it's going to be absolute bragging rights. So far, you've probably got a lot of the EU community, uh, and I, I think rightfully so, we're saying Legend and Shady and the whole of Cartel, they are a quality squad. They can give it uh, against a lot of these NA squads, even against all of them potentially as well. But on the NA side, they're going to contest whoa, whoa. against that. Calm down there. As well. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I mean. They're going to contest down. against that until we get to <laughs> LAN. That's the only time. That's when we can prove it. Because I can say EU is, is quality and you can say NA is going to always win. But the, until we get to that LAN side of things, Nighty, it's just going to be words. And I want to see the, the game. The stock play is rising. There. I will give you that. The stock has risen so much. But uh, yeah, until that day, boy, uh, I don't know. But um, yeah. Legend and Shady <laughs> looking great, making it look way too easy. But where did the camo? Oh, my God. Okay, sneaky little jump up to top middle. You're going to be watching for the bubble spawns. He knows exactly where that player is coming from because of the nades. That's something that you don't want to do off your spawn. Uh, I don't really believe Shady should have 
got went for that kill right away. I think he should have waited for help from his teammate, maybe put a nade down. Uh, but he's just he's just super confident at this point. He's not really worried about any contestion. Uh, just really bullying them at this point. Um, but yeah, if you're go if you know that there's a camo player lurking around the map, you do not want to be throwing grenades and just announcing your location right away. I mean, it's been a minute and Legend hasn't got a kill yet. What's going on? This game is it's going crazy. Shady's got everything. Um, now, one thing I want to say is uh, you saw that spawn kill there from Shady. He absolutely timed it to perfection. He knew him a player um, from Catbox was going to spawn and he just sh straight away started shooting as soon as that body appeared on the squad or on, this, on his screen as well. That's what you have to contest with if you're Catbox. These players are so well drilled at Halo 5. They know every single little trick, every single little drum you can do, and they're going to definitely use them, especially in the winners' finals. This is almost, and I know that we we see Cartel 2s win every single time, but this is when Cartel 2s are making their statement. And again, the worrying part is it's so easy for them. They know already, that they're almost in their heads, they're like, we won this series. And, and I mean, Legends, Legends isn't missing, again. And again, there's no straight away when that spawn's coming in as well. And when you're when you're a catbox player, you can't even get a second of breath. You're already getting shot off spawn, which forces you to play some of the best Halo you can. And realistically, when you've got two players, Shady and Legend, soaring at you, it's so difficult to do. So your life on the map is maybe 20 seconds max before Shady and Legend are hunting you down and getting shots into you as well. That's not a lot of time to react. And I mean, we can talk about this all day. Shady and Legend just playing perfect Halo. But Mr. and Marine, we have to talk about their route so far to this final as well, Nighty. Because they've played some absolutely quality Halo we've seen. We've seen them taking down Divine Mind and um, um, and our Dave's adopted son as well. Shady gets camo whilst I'm talking about it as well. But I want to say that Mr. Marine, they are no, they're no chumps. They're absolutely top-notch players here. And they deserve to be in this final. But Legend and Shady are just... I mean, they're just legend and shady, aren't they? At this point, we already know what goes on in the cartel in the cartel camp. They're going to win. And they're going to look make it look easy as well. Yeah, as far as this matchup, you're going to be talking about the speed a lot because Legend and Shady speed is exactly that. It's on another level. It's at the uh, place where they need to be to compete with the best. Uh, that's really the biggest difference maker when you talk about amateurs and pros. Uh, it's just the the way that they can react. And, and make those decisions on the fly, that speed is what makes it such a huge difference. When you're playing in a LAN environment or, or any type of high pressure situation, being able to think as fast as possible. I'm not talking about movement speed. I'm just talking about where you want to make your next, next play, what you want to do statistically speaking. Like where is the most success that you found? How can you adapt quicker? How can you just make uh, your teamwork happen more consistently and just be up in their face all the time with the aggression. That is really the big difference that we're seeing in this matchup. We are seeing a little fight back, though. They're starting to match that speed. If they want any chance in hell at coming back in this series, they got to do it now. This is, this is a really good setup, but Shady, he says sit down. Yeah, and I think matching the speed is really good, but as soon as... Um, Legend and Shady get caught onto that. They can also slow the game. To, they just whatever style they want to play, it's almost like Mister and Marine have to play to that style as well. What I want to see from Mister Marine though is to just keep matching them, keep playing at a quick pace. I don't, I don't mind if you like, you know, go two down in in a, in a set of slays as well. You need to keep matching them in this intensity because you're going to go on to a, a losers finals eventually. You want to try and get back into the grand finals. And if you keep playing slow and defensive and try and turtle up. You're not going to get that practice you need. You're going to come in cold in that loser's finals game. There was a nice burn onto camo, I think, there from um, from uh, Marine. So that's nice to see. And I like to see all these nades coming in, trying to shut down the roots of Legend and Shady, because you know where they're going to soar in. You're never going to try and take it towards, take these gunfights one-on-one. -on -one. So getting that nade just to help you out is a good thing. And for me, Mr. and Marine, have, I mean, they're going into this series. They know they're going to be up against it as well. They have done a good job at playing get some quick Halo as well. I mean, it's a bit stop-starty, but again, you're playing against Shady and Legend. I don't think that's necessarily Mr. and Marine dropping the ball and more Shady and Legend just proving how good they are uh, as a duo as well. So I think this realistically, we want to see Marine and Mister try and mitigate the damage in this one, go back into the losers' finals, and hope they play against. Try and go in with a hot hand. There is an outmatch right now, right? Like we got to take what we can away from this series. And what really speaks to me the most for Cat Fox is that they're not really shell shocked at all. They're, you know, they're playing against mm. the best in this tournament. 
Uh, they're, and they they don't look like they're intimidated too much. They're definitely making decisions. They're making plays, and they're committing to them. They're you know putting in good shots. They're they're matching the energy of the other team. They just they're outmatched. They're not going to be able to take on this team. Um, but that's really something that is a good tell going into the losers bracket is that they're not going down without a fight. That they're going to be ready for those teams. And they're looking to take that second place no matter what. Yeah, absolutely. And the game is slowly taken away here. Marines caught in a difficult situation. Legend with some nice shots to clean him up as well. And when Legend's hitting shots like that, even up against it against Marine, you just can't really do anything. The game is slowly going out here. Mist is brought out. We just get a nice bit of shady, but Legend is there for the trade. That is Cartel 2's locking themselves into the grand finals, taking Cat Fox down to that loser's finals where they have to fight again for a chance to rematch Cartel 2's. And we said it all, we said it whilst this game was going on as well. I mean, Cartel 2's a uh, standard above, but Mr. Marine, they've definitely proven something to get this far so far. And they might have a chance again if they can win in that loser's finals that they play against. Yeah, both games, 25-14. I mean, it's pretty respectable if you think about how good Legend and Shady really are. Um, you know, they they fought back. They they did their best, and uh, that's the, the key, is that they can hold their heads high with that confidence, knowing that they, they just beat the two other best teams, and they just need to repeat that performance going into the loser's bracket. They don't need to get too down on themselves right now. Just need to reset, make sure they're staying composed, and stay focused. Yeah, absolutely. If we can see what's going on in the losers bracket as well, if we can see what the teams are playing and who's who. Yeah, if we can just see the bracket um, and just talk about the losers bracket a little bit uh, until if, uh, Joe gets back. We'll see him in a second, but there we go. We're seeing a updated bracket as soon as... Uh, as soon as Joe gets back, we'll we'll talk about it a little bit more. Divine Mind. Hello. Hey, he's back. Hey, what's up, I'm, man? I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. I was being uh, I think I was being uh, uh, kicked off there for a second just before I can see the bracket. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know what you've said so far, Nighty. So I'm just going to jump in and see and see where we are out here. Late Bloom is taking down Tier Three two to O, and Divine Mind winning against Michelle Sardo two to O. So the next game up on stream is going to be Days Adopted Son and Late Bloomers. That's going to be quite a hot one as well. Undy Tonza wasn't playing last week. It was EUGs is stepping in as a sub for Late Bloomers. They played really, really well. I think it was, if I remember, they think I think he placed top six. So it's a nice win against Tier 3. But they're coming in against Days Adopted Son, who, who, who got into quite a difficult scrap against uh, Mr. Marine uh, on Cap Fox in that last one. But what I'm seeing here is it looks like it could be a Divine Mind versus Dave's Adopted Son for the chance in the winner's final. So it would be a loser's final, sorry. So it would be a rematch no matter which way you look at it for this Cap Fox squad. But I mean, Nighty, we've had two game threes and we've had Cartel uh, come through and win 2-0 in our, in our time on this casting. We're, our time is coming shortly. Do you have any closing statements uh, before we, we pass it over to Jimbo and Shirzy? Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure casting with you, Sketch, and I uh, hope to do it soon. That, that was a great final. Uh, I can't see Legend of Shady losing that one, so you know, look for these next few matches to be the best ones of the tournament. This could be, this could be a real good one. Yeah, and I mean, nighty, we've got to we've got to cast again before it's another year passed again. Uh, it's it a great <laughs> great blast, and also we we saw two game threes, and we saw massive plays from Mister and Marine. Dave's adopted sons versus late bloomers is next up on the alpha stream. Uh, that's that's it done for myself uh, and nighty here. We're passing on to Jimbo and Shirzy, uh, and we'll see you all.